So I'll now move on to markup decision processes or MDPs. So I'll first introduce what MDPs are, and then I'll define paths, strategies, and probabilities for MDPs. And then so finally, I'll talk about probabilistic reachability for MDPs. So I'll first consider qualitative probabilistic slope reachability. So this is so reaching with slope so, so probability greater than zero or with slope so probability one. And then I'll go on to optimality so like equations. And finally, how to actually compute reachability probabilities for MDPs. So first, what's the difference between MDPs and our DTMCs? So in MDPs, we also have non-determinism. And why do we need this? Well, for some aspects of a, a system, they might not be slight probabilistic, and therefore it doesn't make sense for us to try to model them slight probabilistically. So some examples of this is our, our concurrency in the scheduling of parallel uh, our components. So for example, in some randomized distributed so algorithms, we have some multiple pro probabilistic slip processes that do have slip probabilistic slip behavior, but then they operate a asynchronously. So, so we don't know so the ordering that, that they move, and so we want to consider all possible so interleaving. So it doesn't make sense to so model this so probabilistically. Second, we might might be have have a system in an unknown environment. For example, of this is so probabilistic slight security slight protocols where we don't know how the adversary behaves. So it's like we want to model it under all possible adversaries. So it's like we need to model the choices that the adversary makes non-deterministically. Third, so we might have slight systems which are which are under are specified. So, so we might not, not know the precise slight values for certain slight model slight parameters. So it's like we want to consider, for example, a slight communication slight protocol might say where the, that the message that the protocol should work where so the message propagation slight delays are between a upper or a lower up band. So here it's like we need to consider all possible slight values. So we make the choice of the delay as a non-deterministic choice. It's like between the lower um between values it's like between the lower and the upper it's like value. And it's like finally, so another so example is if we abstract a our DTMC, for example, by um partitioning the states into um similar but not identical states. So then so we don't know it's like precisely what our state we're in. So it's like we know that there's that um so, so we don't know so precisely what the probabilistic so behavior will be. So we can have a non-deterministic choice as to what the actual probabilistic behavior will will be. Okay. So we've got so, so we have set so models with just so probability, and we have set so models with just non-determinism. So, for example, in a labeled uh, or transition so system or a Kripke so structure, then the choice is are non-deterministic. So we've got a set of states, an initial state, and then we've got a transition or relation where a pair is in the or relation. If there's a non-deterministic choice, if there is a select transition so between the two states. So for example, in S1, here we've got three possible our transitions and the choice as to which one is so taken is non-deterministic. On the other hand, in so like discrete time select so like Markov chains, so again we've got a set of states, an initial state, and here we've got a probability transition our matrix. So here, if we're in a state, there's a the choice as to the successor state is purely select so like probabilistic. We take the self loop with select so like probability 0 0.01, we go to S3 with select so like probability. 0.98 and we go to S2 with sub probability 0 0.01. And notice in so both cases, we also have a so labeling so function that assign, assigns to states that so atomic propositions that hold in that state or the properties of, of that state. So let's now introduce Markov 
site decision select processes, which, ex which we can consider as an extension of site DTMCs, which allow non-deterministic choices. So like site DTMCs and labeled transition so systems, we have a discrete set of states that represent the possible configurations of the system being select modeled. And we have that the transitions select between states that occur in discrete time steps. So what changes is that we have both probabilistic and non-deterministic behavior in each state. So first, there's a non-deterministic choice between the actions that are available in a, our state. So one thing to note is that different actions can be available in different states of a MDP. And once an action is Start chosen in a such state, then the successor state is chosen probabilistically based on both the action that is start chosen and the current state. So let's have a formal uh, our definition. So like for our DTMCs, we've got a finite set of slight states or the, the state space. We've got an initial state and we've got a labeling sort of function that sort of assigns to states sets of sort of atomic um, propositions. And then so finally, we have a partial transition probability so function. So we've, so we've got a set of so actions A and dist S is the set of so discrete probability so distributions over the set S. So we've got, so given a state and a so action, this might map to a um, our distribution since it's a partial transition probability so function. So in a state, an action is said to be sort of available if P S of A is uh, are defined and we denote by A of S the actions that are sort of available in a state. So that's the set of sort of actions for, for which the partial transition probability function is sort of defined for the given slight sort of state. So for example, here we can see in state so zero, only the action A is so available as there's only a our transition so labeled with the action A, while in state S1, there's one, um, there's two so available so actions, one at B, and if we choose B, then we move to state S so zero with probability 0.7, while we remain in state S1 with probability 0.3, while if we choose action C in state S1, then there's a 50-50 chance that we move to, to state two or to state three. So let's consider so another so example. So this is a so modification of the simple so, so communication so protocol I so modeled as a DTMC in earlier so videos. So here we start in state S so zero. Then after one step, we so perform action start and we start to try to send a uh, our message. So then in state one, we have a like a non-deterministic a non-deterministic choice like between so the actions send and wait. So we can choose to wait, for example, so because the channel is so busy, or we can choose to send try to send the uh, uh, our message. So first of all, if we choose to wait, then we just stay in state S. A one, and we don't, and so nothing changes. Or if we choose to send, then with so probability 0.99, we send successfully, and we move to state S of three, and then we stop, which corresponds to corresponds to so repeatedly so performing the stop so action. Or with probability 0.01, we fail, and then so we move to state S of two, and then afterwards we then re in the next step we then so perform the reset so action and we start so over from state S0. So let's look at one other simple so example. So here we've got four states. So from S0, so we have no choice. The only so available action is A. So we move to S, S, so one. Then in S1, we've got a non-deterministic choice so between two so available actions, B and C, as we've seen. If we choose action B, then we either so return to S so zero with so probability 0.7, or well, there's a self loop with probability 0.3. On the other hand, if we choose action C, then there's a 50-50 so random choice 
it's like between moving to the state S2 that corresponds to heads or S3 that corresponds to tails. So more, so that formally, this is a MDP where the set of states is S0, S1, S2, and S3. We've got the start state is S0. In S0, there's only one set available action, which is A, and that corresponds to the set distribution that picks S1 with set probability one. In state S1, there's two set available so actions B and C. For action B, we um, this has so probability. The probability of going to S0 is 0 0.7 and S1 is 0.3. While if we choose C, then S2 is chosen with so probability 0.5 and S3 with probability 0.5. And then in both S2 and S3, there's only A is slightly available, and and that is just causes a slight self loop. So. We choose S2 with probability one if we're in S2, and we choose S3 with probability one if we're in S3. And we also have the atomic slot propositions, which are init, heads, and slot tails. Um, S0 is slot labeled with init only. S1 isn't slot labeled with anything, so it, it returns the empty set, while S2 and S3 are labeled by heads and tails respectively. So let's give one other slight example to show how we can go from, so if we consider the asynchronous parallel slight composition of two three-state DTMCs. So in here, if we're in S0, we move to S1 with probability one. If we're in S1, there's a 50-50 chance of moving to S0 or S2. And if we're in S2, then we stay there with probability one. And uh, so the second one is the same, but the states are so labeled T0, T1, and T2. Then we can build the asynchronous parallel of composition. So in, in each state, there's a non-deterministic choice as to whether this DTMC moves or this one moves. So we're in state S0, T0, either T, this one moves, and then therefore it's like we move to the state where S0 doesn't change, and we move to and T0 changes to T1 with slot probability one, or here this RDTMC slot moves and we and S0 changes from S1 with slot probability one and T0 obviously does not change. And you can work through to see all the possible slot states. So note that I haven't included uh, the different slot actions. I've just labeled so, so the arrows with different slot colors to correspond to the different action select choices. So let's now go on to paths, strategies, and probabilities for MDPs. So first, so first a path through an MDP is a, a sequence. So it's a state, then we perform some slight action, and then we move to some slight new state, and we it's like require that if we're in state, um, uh, so this should be SI. So if we're in state SI, we choose so action AI, then so we need to move to state SI plus one with so probability so greater than zero for all I. So each of these so transitions happens with non-zero probability. And a path therefore so, so represents a possible execution or one possible behavior of, of the system, which the MDP is uh, are modeling. So we can define path S as the set of all so infinite paths that, that start from some state S. And we can also so consider path fin of S as a set of finite paths that, that start from some state S. Now, as we've seen paths, so as we can see paths so resolve both the non-deterministic since it has a so action, it says in S so zero, we choose action A, so zero, so we're resolving the non-determinism, and we're also so resolving so the probabilistic so choice, as we say that after a zero is so chosen, we end up in state S1. So this so resolves both the, the non-deterministic and the probabilistic so choices of the MDP. So how can we so reason about so the probabilities of a MDP? 
So what we need are, if we wanted to consider, for example, what's the probability of some event in an MDP? So here we need what are called select strategies. Okay, so, so we first need to just set resolve the non-deterministic set choices, but we need to keep the set probabilistic set choices. And if we do this, then by so resolving the non-deterministic choices, we end up with a, uh, our DTMC. And then as we've seen in earlier our videos, we can define a probability so measure over the paths of this our DTMC. So as I said, this can be done with a our strategy and this so resolves only the non-deterministic choice in an MDP. Now, so strategies are also known as either such so schedulers policies or adversaries. They're all, they're all so equally so valid names for the same thing. So formally, what I, our strategy is, is a so function that maps every so finite path to an available so action of the last state of that path. So since it chooses it based on the path, then it so it resolves the non-determinism based on the execution select history. So given what has happened in the past, what action should I select perform next? That's what a strategy tells us to do. So let's consider the previous example. So notice in this MDP, it's only in state S1 where there's a a non-deterministic choice. So it's only in, in S1 where there's more than one slot available slot action. And here we have that we can either choose the action B or the action C. So let's first consider slot, slot strategy sigma one that picks C on the first time. So here after, so here I have uh, slot, omitted the actions from the paths just to simplify the our presentation. So after after so moving from S0 to S1, and this would correspond to, to so performing so action A, then so the strategy chooses action C. On the other hand, we can consider so the strategy sigma 2 that picks B the first time that we enter S1, but then there's a chance, and then afterwards, if we're in state S1, it will always choose C. So, so the first time, so after it goes from S0 to S1, next time it chooses B, then after that, any time it's in S1, it will choose C. And that's just two. Some examples of it's like the final of the finite paths, it's like applying sigma one and sigma two. So note that, just repeat that I haven't included so the actions in the path, paths just to keep things so it's simple in the presentation. So given a, a strategy, then we can define a set of paths, path so sigma s. So these are the paths from s where so the non-determinism is so resolved so according to the strategy so sigma. So now, so these are the paths of the form where in the final step, then this so action is the choice of so sigma after the path pi has been performed. So for example, if we consider so, so the strategy sigma one that, that picks C for the first time, in this case, it's like we go to A and then so we pick C. So we either go to S2 or S3. So we either have the path that goes from S1 to S, sorry, from S0 to S1 to S2, and then just does this loop, or we have the path that goes from S0 to S1 to S3, and then we have this slight loop. On the other hand, if we consider so the strategy sigma two that first, that picks B for the first time, and then always picks C, then we're in S0, so and we either go to S1, back to S0, so and then we go back to S1 and then we either go to S2 or S3. So we go from S0 to S1 to S2, back to S1 and then to S2 or to S3. Or when we go, when we pick B for the first time, we get it's like the self loop and then we pick C and then we either go to S2 or S3. So here we've got the path where we go S0, S1, S1, S2, or S0, S1, S1, S3. And notice, so again, I 
it's like omitted. So, so the actions from the path, the paths just to simplify the presentation. So given a, a like starting state and a, a strategy, this actually so, so induces a so infinite state of DTMC. So it's a, a DTMC that is based on it's like the starting state and the strategy sigma. So how do we uh, define this? Okay, so it's like we need to define so the states, the so initial state, the probability transition so matrix, and the labeling so like function. So first, the states of this our DTMC are the finite paths of so the MDP that start in state S and correspond to so like the ad adversary so like sigma. The initial state is just the very simple path, which is just like the singleton path S, um, which is the path of length so like zero. And then what's the probability transition so like matrix? Well, if, uh, if we've got two paths, pi and, and pi primed, and pi primed is just pi followed by, we perform so action A and move to S primed. And obviously so we will require that this is so the action that so sigma so it requires. If it's like this is true, then it's just it's like the probability that in it's like the final state of um, pi, if we choose it's like action A, then we move to S prime. So here S it's like corresponds. This S should be, sorry, the last state of um, pi as opposed to S. And if it's like this isn't true, then we set S so like the probability to be like equal to like zero. And it's like the labeling that of the path is just given by like the labeling of the last state of the path. Now it turns out that there's a one-to-one -one like correspondence so like between the paths um, of so like the strategy so like sigma um, starting from state S and the paths of this are DTMC. So therefore, this gives us a it's like probability, it's like measure over the paths of it's like sigma starting from state S by using it's like the probability, it's like measure for this it's like DTMC that I introduced in an earlier it's like video. So let's finally give an example. So here, this is a it's like fragment of the induced so DTMC for strategy sigma one. So this is the one that picks C for so the first time. So we've got here, notice that the states are so the finite paths. And again, I omitted the actions from the path paths just to simplify the, our presentation. So here, when we're in S1 for the first time, we choose C and therefore we move to either S2 or S3 with slight probability. 0.5, and then we just afterwards just perform this loop over and over, or this loop over and over again. And let's look at a fragment of that for um, it's like sigma two. So here, it's like the first time that we're in S1, we choose action B. So we either return to S it's like zero with it's like probability 0.7, or we stay in S1 with it's like probability 0.3. And then after that, we always pick C. So here, we're in S1, so therefore, so we either move to S2 or S3 with so probability 0.5. Here we've moved to S0, so then we've got to go back to S1 first, and then we so perform C, and we have a 50-50 choice that we go to S2 or S, S, S3. So that completes this so video, and in so the next one, I'll move on to probabilistic so reachability for MDPs.